Alright guys, it's Bugle Builds and welcome to uh, the Road to League 1. Quarter past 10, I just finished and uh, all that said, um, your file has been deleted and that was 40 minutes worth. So I went off because I, I was vexed uh, and then I'm going to do it today which is Thursday the 10th. So um start this episode, I was just looking around for a striker because I really need one to um, back up coming, uh, Cummings up front um i think i think i'm good with the whole um left wing right wing sort of thing because um any insta sort of plays a a right wing and um even though lloyd sam's a i think it's a left wing uh, i'm not sure but he uh sort of comes down and plays left wing even though he's left mid um but anyway uh, i didn't go um and buy a player just yet I did look at Forest um, because that's where I support, and uh, we've got this player called Robbie Finley. He's American. Uh, he's got about 92 pace. Really good player. Um, but I did go to League Two, which is my league, uh, and went to Macclesfield to get uh, Mendy. Oh, Medley, sorry. Uh, I think it's Mendy, Medley, um, something like. That. I think it's Mendy. Uh, yeah, Mendy. Because um, it's centre mid. Uh, just to uh, boost up my chemistry a bit, because uh, I think he's English, um, and yeah, he's got quite good stats, so um, I didn't want to sign, sign him permanently, because I didn't know if he was going to be good, um, because um, stats don't always uh, suggest that they're good, uh, or they're bad, because sometimes if they've got really good stats, they don't perform, um, and so I just wanted to sign him on the loan from Macclesfield, just to see how it goes. Um, but straight away we got a offer from a crew for Campbell uh, for about 20 grand and I said yeah because they don't play him so they had him uh, and we advanced uh, and in three days we've got a friendly match coming up um, I'm not sure, sure it's against um, but yeah it's friendly um, anyway two more days to kick off now and uh, we still haven't got a uh, message back from Macclesfield oh but there they are um, Huddersfield, uh, Hereford, sorry, uh, Hereford United wanted to buy him, so I sold him, um, and because I didn't know that when they send you an offer back, you have to increase the amount of money that you're going to pay him at the end of the season for having him, uh, but I didn't know that until now, so, um, yeah, I did that because, um, I'm actually Mong, uh, and I didn't know what to do. Anyway, uh, I just sim this match because... I really couldn't bother to play it. Um, hopefully, no one gets injured. Uh, but you know, oh, and guess what? Gill gets injured. One, one of my better centre mids. 36th minute, he got injured, and he's going to be up two months. So uh, that's great. That's really helped me. Um, even though I didn't even start the season yet. So yeah. Anyway, um, got a Empire League Two match coming up. First game of the season against. Um, I think it's Morecambe. Um, Macclesfield again sent me another message back saying you can't give us enough money for him just up the price a bit but I didn't know so I just sent it back straight away same money and everything um, and then we advanced um, I'm not sure when it is uh, the 15th uh, of that month and then Macclesfield rejected my offer for Mendy um, not surprised to be honest um, because I didn't give him enough money for him um, I'm not sure what I do next. I think I go and try and buy another player. But first, uh, I'm gonna need some more wages because I think I've got about three grand and need about ten to sign a uh, Finley or try to sign Finley. Um. Anyway, I went. What well, I don't know. What I did next. Uh, I think I went. Yeah, I think I went try to find Finley. So uh, went to Championship. Went to Forest. And um. Oh no. Maybe. Uh. What did I do? Don't know what I did. Uh, oh yeah, this is what I did. I went to Shrewsbury um, to find find a player called John Taylor. He's a really good player. He's in 19, uh, right mid, and um, he's really fast. <laughs> 92 acceleration, uh, pretty good. Says so in 19, he's in the two. Um, I'm not sure if he scored any goals this season uh, in real life, but he is a good player all around. So I went to the championship, went to Forest, 
try and get a striker to back up Cummins. Um, and I was actually looking at a couple of players, not just um, not just Finley, but I went to Andy Reid because he's got a great cross and uh, everything, but I couldn't afford him. So um, I went to Finley. He's six thousand a week uh, wage. Um, I thought, yeah, maybe. And I offered uh, to give Forrest one uh, one million nine hundred thousand for him at the end of the season if I liked him. So I sent that off, um, and then I advanced again to try and get to this next match. Um, hopefully, I saw him Finley. Uh, he's got really good pace. Um, so is coming. So I think they'll be a really good combination, and I think they're both American as well. So get a bit of chemistry in there. But what I know for definite, Finley's American. Uh, I'm not sure about coming. So he came from the American League, so I'm not sure, but I, I have a feeling he is. Forrest sent me a message back saying you ain't given enough money for him. Um, so I didn't know, so I just sent it straight back. Um, and I don't think I saw him, to be honest. I think I gave for someone totally different uh, of a different league. But anyway, um, I went back onto the transfer market. And now I don't know where I went next. Uh, oh, yeah, this is what I did. Um, a, couple of, a couple of years ago, uh, on FIFA 10 or 11, um, I did a manage mode with Forest, and uh, I was just flicking through the leagues, trying to find a, a really pacey striker because I like my pace in my teams. And I found this man called Diego Castro. Uh, really good stats, really fast. Uh, he's a left wing, and he's right there. But he has gone up a lot of money um, since I last bought him. Uh, he's actually about five million now. But he has got a good finesse shot. That's one of his traits. But I went two more players down and I found Ruben Castro. And uh, I'm not sure if they're related or anything, but he, he is pretty fast. Uh, he's got good reactions, good balance and uh, acceleration. is quite good. So he plays striker. Um, and I thought I'll try and sign him on loan because he's, he's like, estimate worth is 2.6 mil. Um, so I couldn't afford that. But in the, the season, if I get promoted, hopefully I get a lot of money so I can buy all these players and um, hopefully win League One um, and then that will be called uh, Road to the Championship that series so it's a season series and then um, Virgo sent me a message I'm not sure what he said but um, so I won't look in because it's not cool anyway two more days till kick off against Morecambe um, really looking forward to this first uh, match of the season hopefully I'll win uh, and we'll just see how it goes um, Gil obviously got injured in that uh, friendly a couple of weeks ago, um, so I take him off, and I'm not sure I put on. I think I put um, Zabrowski on. I think I do. I think I went straight to put Zabrowski. Oh no, I put Jeffries on. I think I put Zabrowski and any answer on the bench. Um, I did a season with Bristol ages ago, and he was quite good. Um, so yeah, any answers good as well. But I don't know why I've got two keepers on the bench, to be honest. I've got, uh, like, three strikes I've put this dude on. And then uh, I've got one centre-back. I really need to put a midfield in there, uh, if, in case one of my midfield gets uh, hurt. Um, but, yeah, I took, uh, I think I put, I put Annie Inter on for Stanley Inter. Uh, and I put Carriol behind Annie Inter. Because Annie Inter is a really good player. He gets forward, um, tries and scores, and, um, yeah. Hopefully he scores in this game. So it's time to play Morecambe in the first game of the season. And I'm really looking forward to it. Got Cummins up front with Kufawa. Kufawa's really performed this season in the friendlies. Uh, hopefully he scores a couple. So uh, Kufawa running in. down the uh, middle of the field. I don't know what he's going to do. He shrugs off the player. He shoots and unfortunately and their um, goalkeeper saves it. Jeffries have a shot. Goes straight over the bar. Not good. Uh, anyway. Carriol uh, free balls it, then Cummins free balls it, and Kofawi, is he going to score? Yes, what a goal. First goal of the season for Kofawi in the league. Um, not a bad goal, but every goal counts. Um, so, yeah, it puts me 1 0 up against uh, Morecambe, and I'm cooking on gas. Kofawi free balls it to Cummins. Uh, Cummins has a flesh shot, and it um, goes right to the keeper. Kofawa plays it through to Lloyd Sam. Lloyd Sam at the edge of the box. Shoots and top corner. What a goal. Lloyd Sam. First goal of the season. First game of the season. 
hopefully he's really going to be a good player uh, for Bristol. Hopefully he get cracks in a couple of goals. His, uh, his replay of um, the goal shoots soon as he gets the ball and it goes in. Uh, pa pass Carriol. Carriol has a quick shot, goes over the bar with a finesse. Half time at 2 0. Uh, Kofawa and Lloyd Sam's crazy long shot outside the box. Um, so, yeah, really off to a good start in the league. Uh, three balls it to Cummins. Cummins gets the ball. Is he going to score? Finesse shots it and uh, Wilson just saves it. Cummins again. Is he going to finesse shot it? Finesse shot it and uh, it just goes past the post. Get a free kick though, so that's not bad. Um, I'm quite good at taking free kicks with um, like higher players, like goal players, but I wasn't sure if Cummins was going to be good at free kicks or not. His stats are alright, but he shoots and it goes right over the bar. Um, right, Lloyd Sam shrugging off the defender, crosses it in, and Cummins just over the bar with a header. Anthony passes it, Fleming, Fleming scores in the 90th minute. Uh, not a bad goal, but. I'm not going to give up without a fight. Hopefully he doesn't score again. But, um, yeah. So, Kofawa runs straight into the box. What's he going to do? Finesse shots it. Top corner. Second goal of the season for Kofawa. What a goal. Um, shrugs off the defenders and shoots first time. And uh, what a goal by Kofawa. Second goal of the season. Yeah, he's going to be definitely good at this season. 3-1 win full time. Uh, it's going to give me three points on the board uh, or the table. Um, so really a good start. Now this next game against Aldershot is a home. It's not a home. It's a a way match. So yeah. Um, sorry about that. A uh, little bit of lag there. I'm not sure. But it just lagged on my screen. Um, anyway, I took Cummins off, put Zabrowski on. Kofawa runs straight down the side. I was going to say middle there. But turns around, plays it to Zabrowski. Zabrowski, I don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, finesse shots, it goes out wide. Not very good at shooting Zabrowski. But Kofawa plays Zabrowski through again. With a bit more pace, Zabrowski would have got there and probably scored. Kofawa plays through Zabrowski again. He finesses and his goalkeeper saves it. Or old shots, goalkeeper save it. Um, then the strike force go in, and my goalkeeper, what a save uh, from really close range. Sam going down the side, crosses it in, and it hits the uh, crossbar. It went to penalties after extra time, it was 0 0. So they had the first penalty, and it cracks the bar, or the crossbar. Um, I'm not sure which one it was. But Virgo for my first penalty, and uh, it shoots. Don't know which way he's going to go. He goes um, right and he scores. They have the next penalty. I don't know what he's going to do. Stutter shots it and it just goes over Skelton with the blue air. Right, then Kufawa, my main man, shoots and he scores. Goes left. Great goal. They have the uh, next penalty. Hopefully, I see this one. Shoots. And Skelton saves it. Gets an accomplishment for that. What a save by Skelton. He's really done the good this season. Sam shoots. Oh, and his goalkeeper saves it. That's sort of brought him back into it. But I'm not going to go down with that far. Anything can happen in the cup. Hopefully, I can win. Oh, and he cracks the post. He had the next penalty. Cracks it against the post. He could have joined me level on penalties. Cummins for the final penalty. If I score, then I win. Shoots and scores. Cummins takes me into the next round. Bristol Rovers in the next round. Beating all the shot. 3-1 um, on penalties. And that was a really good game. Um, oh, God. What an what a episode. Um, God, my heart's pounding. My heart's pounding. Sorry. Right, anyway. Won that 2-1 on penalties. No, 3-1 on penalties. I think, yeah. Um, anyway, this has been the road, no, not the road, the journey to League One um, with Bristol Rovers and Bugle Builds. Hope you liked it and uh, tune in for the next episode and also follow me on Twitter. Thanks, guys.